In August 1989, Silicon Graphics introduced the Workspace, a desktop-style graphic interface that allows novices to use this 3D visualization workstation. We'll take a look at how the designers of Workspace matured the desktop metaphor to support users in the Unix environment. The first thing you notice about Workspace is its familiarity, a desktop, and second, that it is attractive. Every SGI workstation has color display with at least 10 MIPS of power behind it. The Workspace desktop is contained in its own window with a light blue background. If you need to unclutter your display, Workspace can be shrunk or moved out of the way. The icons represent files, with shape indicating their type. Pointing at icons makes them glow, showing they're ready to be acted upon. You'll notice that this locate highlight is used consistently in the interface. Any set of icons you're working with can be arranged right in place. Now, I'll open a directory folder. Note the pale green background that makes it look different from the workspace window. There are a lot of files in here, but it's easy to find things because the content slides smoothly, keeping up with the thumb. We can switch between this iconic view or a list-based view. Now we can filter which files appear in the list by using a pattern. or sort the list using any of these buttons. If we select and drag an icon, its image and title remain clearly readable. You can see what you're holding every step of the way. Dropping the folder here on the workspace desktop causes these connecting lines to appear, showing that one folder is contained in the other. Now, a directory glows as a file moves over it to show we can drop it there. Notice this folder doesn't glow because I do not have write permission. This blue glow indicates the acceptance of drop highlight. Alternatively, dragging the file onto an already open directory window without write permission cancels the operation and brings up a notifier. However, the screen isn't locked. You can go ahead and use the graphic interface to figure out what went wrong. Files are copied with a menu command or by holding the Alt key and dragging. Likewise, they can be removed either by menu command or being dropped into the dumpster. This image file could be opened with the traditional double click or by dropping it onto an application. This is consistent with the folder's drop highlight and the locate highlight. Meanwhile, the quick paint icon's backboard shows it's running, just as a folder icon changed when it was opened. This is because the workspace is a dynamic view of the system state. What you see is what you're getting right now. Typing ls to the shell provides a snapshot of the file system state but Workspace is a consistent and dynamic view of the Unix file system. Any new files, changes in file type, permissions, etc. made by anyone from anywhere on the network are immediately shown by views or property sheets. In addition, compilation almost animates as it progresses. The Workspace is an open system. Any icon and its menu can be tailored to the task or job at hand. Every user has a personal icon layout. Editors and document folders for technical publications, 3D modeling tools and object libraries for engineers. We've seen a small part of how Workspace gives access to the power of an SGI Unix workstation. In our user interface, the desktop has matured into a dynamic workplace for creative minds.